is uh, what's the mixture here? Make it to Parmigiano cheese, crumb bread, mozzarella cheese. That's to make a pasta forno. So it's just mozzarella with breadcrumbs? Yeah, and then Parmesan cheese. Parmesan? Wait a minute, you didn't measure that. No. So what are we going to make? Pasta. Pasta forno. Pasta forno. This is the uh, Sicilian way? The way you learn? Yes. How did you make the sauce? Just make hamburger, fry onion, garlic, peas, make the sauce for pasta for Then we cook the pasta. What kind of pasta is that? Ricatoni. Put the pasta. Mozzarella Parmesan cheese. And then put another layer of pasta. So you cook the pasta? Yeah, cook the pasta. How do you make that pasta? Is that al dente or? Uh... Al dente. Okay, now you just got more sauce? More sauce. Where did you get that sauce from? I made the sauce. So you were out. You got a whole thing over there. So this is what now? Wax paper? Yeah. And you put wax paper so it doesn't stick. stick. Like that. Put the foil. Cut it up. It's all ready to go to the oven. Cook. First bed. Does it matter on the order that you put the stuff in? No. no. Garlic first? Yeah. Either way. That's it. That's it. That's have to go to the oven. Put a little bit, but one glass water in the bottle. Mm -hmm. Cover it up. Let it cook for two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. 250 degrees. Okay. So. And then, uh, so that's your glass of water? Yeah. That's just so it doesn't uh, stick. It. And then you cover it or no? I cover. The foil. That's already done if we put in the oven. Now, what right. are we making now? Now I make a stuffed mushroom with the crab meat. Stuffed mushrooms with crab meat? Yes. That sounds good. Mom, do you like when he plays? <laughs> no. Okay, so what's this? That's crab meat. Okay, so you got a little uh, parsley in there. Yep. And salt, a little salt. bit of salt, and a little bit pepperoncino, red pepper, red pepper, 
Bobby, Bobby, nice, nice, nice. You want to go outside? You want to go outside to play? Huh? Nice outside, nice, nice. <laughs> Olive oil. What else did I miss? Olive oil. Pepper of salt. Now it's going to be crumb of bread. And you put olive oil in there, right? Yep. And, and mixed. No cheese, no nothing? No, no none okay. Smash it all up? Yes, mash it up. Okay, then, stop. Oh, so you got them all done? Yep. It's all ready to go. We went to uh, Caputo's yesterday and these are, what do you call these? Called Cardone. That's the, the plan for the artichoke coming. Artichoke? That's, yeah, that's the artichoke coming for this thing. That's, you can eat it, this one here. Steam. When did you start eating these? How old were you? Oh, little kid. And um, so how are you going to make them? Boil, then the flour, and the put in They cook. So you're just taking off the outside veins? Yeah. Just to make them tender. Tender right there. You don't uh, eat the leaves or the stems? No. So you take off the very edge. And the veins. What do you do with this one? The little Cook. inside one? Yeah. Cook it right there. What is this? Fennel. Fennel? Yep. And, uh, this is, are you going to cook this? No. This is just for appetizers? Appetizers. These are nice pears. Where did you get the pears? My tree. Huh? My trees. Your trees. Pear, apple. In Tuscola? Peaches. peaches. That's a really nice pear. From Tuscola? From Tuscola. These are the trees that you planted? Yep, I planted the trees in 1973. So you're not happy with the quality of the cardoons? No, that is right, but that's the way it is. You wanted them uh, very small, the smallest you could find, but the bunches were too big. They make them too big. <laughs> Ma, yeah. what's the purpose of the smaller cardoons? Why are they better? Tender. Yes, when they're small, it's tender. Even if you know it, you know it's very small, it's tender. So this is a different kind of fennel that you make up the east side, the same one or oh, different? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's the same family, but... Different? A little bit different. Nice for there. 
Mashed potatoes, that's not, doesn't sound too Italian. Yeah, but that's, yeah, that's it. Why do you have two kinds of potatoes? These uh, look different here than... Uh, that's, a, that's a red potato. That's a regular potato. That's a red potato old. like a sweet potato or no? Yeah, that's sweet potato. And then this is just your regular Idaho potato? Yep. Now what are you making? The yeast. What are you going to make though? Spinach. Spinach? Yeah. Okay, so this is a... Uh, what do you got on the side over there? Is that, uh, those are baked potatoes? Yeah, that's uh, red uh, sweet potatoes. Okay, so this is yeast? Yes. That's about what, uh, two cups, one cup? One half a cup. Half a cup one of yeast? yeast. <coughs> okay, so that's like half a cup of yeast salt. and then uh, some salt, just salt. regular salt? Yeah. And uh, hot water. And Ooh, yeah. Okay, and then we got some uh, warm water in there. Yeah. Uh, about, you want it about 100 degrees. Yeah. Just warm water, room. Uh, yes. No, what warm water. And uh, then what happens? You don't stir it. You let no, the no stir until the bubble come in. So you let the yeast and the salt yeast. rise, just like yes. you would make any other yeah, dough. starter for dough. That's uh, what kind of flour are you using here? This is a uh, gold gold metal. Is gold that Zero zero ground, yep. fine ground, white. It's wow. a plug for our sponsor. So here we've got artichoke hearts. Artichoke hearts. And those are just uh, uh, so just the fresh out of the bag. We're not uh, cleaning our own artichokes. We're using packaged frozen artichoke hearts. And are uh, you going to fry these, bake these? Yeah, they fry and bake. Sunday I make a fry, Sunday I make bake. Make them many, many different ways. One of the things we're doing is we're putting the yeast in hot water in the sink because we're doing this in the winter time. It's uh, December, Christmas Eve. It's December 24th, and it's cold outside. It's cold in this garage. It's nice and cool. It's about uh, 45 degrees in here which is not good for rising yeast. You want the yeast to rise at uh, room temperature and all of a sudden you can see now that it's starting to rise a little bit. Okay, the yeast has risen about 20 minutes later and now we start to mix in the flour. Okay, so after whipping it up, which is the hardest part, with a hand, it takes about 15-20 minutes of a, a good whip. Let me see how thick it is. It's still not too thick, it's still a little bit runny, and now you're going to let that rise until it, it's going to puff up about twice that size. Come back and see it later. Okay, so what did you do here? You you put hot water in the sink from get a warm water to keep the uh, the dough. tray warm so that the dough would rise, and then you covered the dough so that the cold air doesn't stop it from rising because you need it really to be at room temperature. 